Moving to Providence and curious about the East Side? My name is Jess Powers and this is my YouTube channel all about living in the Hope State. I post videos every week so be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out. This is part of my Moving to Rhode Island neighborhood series and this is where I'm going to talk about some of Rhode Island's most unique and distinctive neighborhoods and towns. So let's jump right in and talk about the east side of Providence. It borders downtown and Pawtucket and it's made up of smaller neighborhoods of Hope Village, Blackstone, College Hill, Mount Hope, Summit, Fox Point, and Wayland. It's home to most of the facilities operated by Brown University and also Rhode Island School of Design. It's also home to a few public schools. There's Barton Gregorian Elementary School, Nathan Bishop Middle School, and also Hope High School, as well as several private schools such as Moses Brown and also the Lincoln School. There are lots of areas with restaurants, coffee shops, bars, and stores. Thayer Street is really popular with college students. Wayland Square has a few great spots for lunch, dinner, and shopping. Hope Village has really grown popular over the past few years and features lots of excellent restaurants and bars, as well as locally owned specialty shops like my favorite, Frog and Toad. The east side is also home to several beautiful parks and green spaces. The largest of the parks is in uh, India Point Park, which is located along the Narragansett Bay and situated right at the bottom of the east side. India Point is also the starting point for the East Bay bike path. Now that's a really great bike path that spans 14 and a half miles and it ends in beautiful Bristol. Other area parks include Blackstone Boulevard with a great running path and Lippitt Memorial Park, which is home of a really fantastic farmer's market every Saturday during the summer months. Walking tours on the east side are really popular. Visitors from all over the country enjoy the unique architecture, museums, and historic locations such as the Providence Athenaeum, which is an independent, member-supported library open to the public that was built in 1836. Benefit Street is a stunning tree-lined street with spectacular homes. It's known as America's one of America's most haunted streets. And then there's Prospect Terrace Park, which offers one of the most spectacular views of the city. The residents who call the East Side home love the unique homes. Most of the housing stock was built in the late 1800s or the early to mid 1900s. So there's a mix of Victorian era homes, there's multifamily homes, really fantastic cool bungalows and large colonials. The East Side is very walkable. Each area has a unique draw. Now Fox Point has India Point Park and Wickedon Street, which has lots of cute shops and coffee hangs. Wayland Square has Red Stripe and Mare, which is a cool rooftop bar. There are specialty shops. And then College Hill has fabulous views, a great proximity to downtown and beautiful architecture. Hope Village has, well, it's Hope Village, and it has Lipid Park and the Farmer's Market and great shops. East Side is an affluent community and it's primarily residential. It's a mix of single family homes, condos, and multifamily properties. Certain areas like Fox Point are home to a lot of students and grad students. Now the property values on the east side tend to be higher than in other parts of the city and they also do tend to retain their value so it can be a great place to invest. Single family homes here have an average listing price of around $800,000 and they top out, uh, top out at about $2 million. If you're buying a single family home you need to have a budget of at least $400,000. There's also a number of condos for sale on the beautiful east side ranging from $250 and up. The real estate market on the east side is perpetually competitive, so be ready for multiple offer situations. Curious to learn more about the area to see if it could be a right fit for you? Well, reach out. I'm always happy to help.